Hey Kyle, saw your text about the um, topper for my uh, festival vac and thought, well, why not do a video? Um, if you need a picture, because uh, sometimes you really do, uh, and a video or a screenshot of the video just won't work, just let me know. I'll send you uh, some screenshots. But otherwise, I thought maybe a video would actually be a little bit better. Um, I'll bet you'll build an even better one than this. Uh, so make sure and send me shots of yours as well pictures, video, whatever works for you, but uh, I'll bet you'll come up with something even better for this. Um, I've already decided that I'm going to put a, another level on this thing up here at the top because I've got several sections of this uh, you know, vacuum wand deal um, from Festival that um, sits real nicely across here if the track saw isn't there. So um, I'll probably put an upper deck above the track saw for the uh, vacuum pieces. But anyway, um, I remember we talked about getting a picture of this before you left and we just got too busy. So um, the way I, I, it was one of those things that I built one thing and then added and then added and added. So there's a better way to plan it right from the start. but. Just, you know, a basic box that fits pretty tight, actually, on the sustainer. Um, and I made it, you know, you can easily lift it with two hands, but um, I made it tight so that uh, if I wanted to lift those front wheels and I've got, you know, tools in my other hand, I can just grab this handle and pull up and it fits tight enough that those wheels come up off the ground to make it over cords or steps or whatever ails you. Um, and, you know, there's certainly a better way to attach this, too. It's just, you know, plywood. Here, let me take that hose off. Sorry for the jiggly video. Um, you know, it's just a 90 degree joint there, uh, edge to face with uh, screws on the end um, Same thing on the end here because it really doesn't take a huge beating right. I'm pretty careful with it, but there's definitely a better way to build it These uh, they'll make it feel real solid. and I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with that And then this was the add-on uh, This edge here Because uh, when I decided to put the track saw on there, I want to make sure it doesn't slide off um, so, you know, no, knowing what I know now, if I was going to build it this way from scratch, I'd build the box, um, including, you know, make this one piece, you know, make this part of the box, and the bottom of that, or top of the box, depending on how you want to look at it, would just be inset like that, so you'd have one solid piece of plywood instead of the edges. I certainly don't mind this, but, you know, if I were going to make something that mattered more or was furniture, I wouldn't want to have the plywood edges showing like that. And then these guys were just um, screwed on from the outside with countersunk holes. Um, fair warning, if you're going to do that, you know, you're probably not going to use top grade plywood and driving those screws through that. through this piece right here, real easy to split that. So what I actually did was drilled a hole that was a little bit bigger than the threads of the screw. So it just passes through rather than gripping. And uh, the threads, you know, grip into the side here um, while just passing through that, that section uh, between it and the face plate. So, Watch for splitting your plywood there, um, or you can use uh, hardwood and get around it almost all together. But, yep, it just sits on top there. Um, for what it's worth, I don't know if you care, uh, but it might matter as you think about, you know, how tall to make this thing for your setup, because yours is a little different. Um, I've got one more sustainer on top of the one that came with my saw. Uh, on top of this. Uh, I think this 
big sustainer only goes up to about there. Um, you know, so just think about your depth and figure out uh, what it is that you want to do with it. Let me know if you have any questions, and like I said, make sure and show me what uh, you come up with because I'm sure it'll have some upgrades and maybe I'll steal them back, huh? All right, bud. Good to talk to you. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.